Morning news, my wonderful people. Our very own brother, you know him very well. He will not even mix words and he will tell us as it is. Yes. He said that Tiku and Tinubu statements reveal their true nature. Nigerians, open your eyes, oh. Rafiu advises Nigerians. I be mean, brother, I don't know why you won't talk and pass again. You don't talk and you don't talk and finish you. Because they say a word, you know, the Englishman says a word is enough for the wise. When somebody comes to you and they are, you know, revealing some things and trying to tell you in codes, they don't want to say everything, but it's left for you now to truly now or you know, quickly, you know, understand who you are and quickly, you know get understand where this statement is coming from what it could possibly mean and rise up to the occasion and do that which is right and necessary this is what we are experiencing now. and this guy is telling nigerians you can see the people who tells you they want to be leaders can you just be wise and make the right choice can you just be can you remove sentiment and be honest and sincere to yourself for once let's get all the details please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details atiku and tinubu statement reveals their true nature nigerians open your eyes reveal seni advises all hours after hours ago arise news reporter Oseni, rafiu and ruben Abati spoke about some political matters and issues, shared their opinion. During the moment, Rafiu talked about the statement made by Tinubu and Atiku over the weekend and how he feels that what they said revealed their true nature. He further advises Nigerians to open their eyes and vote wisely rather than blindly. Nigerians, you must be very careful the decisions you are making. This is a major decision and we cannot afford to take it carelessly. According to Rafiu, Tinubu and Atiku making similar statements over the weekend which shocked, shocked tribal sentiment is a revelation of their true nature and intention who they truly and really are in the inside don't be deceived by what you see on the outside he called on nigerians to open their eyes in the forthcoming elections and tell themselves the truth because some nigerians live in self deceit and denier he said with all that has been shown over the weekend from tinubu telling yorubas to vote for him and atiku telling houses to vote for him the fact is that these politicians have shown their true nature for you to know who they truly are it is time for nigerians to open their eyes to the truth because some live in self-deceit denial propelled by their own personal interests and perplexed by center of attraction of all these politicians. This is what influences their voting system. And we must be careful if we must have the right leaders. Brother, you have spoken well. Lou. We sincerely appreciate you for coming up with the truth because what you are saying Nigerians, they need to really understand and begin to get themselves together. For a long time, it feels like they don't understand that the decisions you and I are making will affect every one of us. They don't seem to get it. Seriously, brother, I, I am like, I'm very, very sincere with you. They don't seem to get it or understand that whatever decision they are making today will not just affect them. Yes, it will affect us. Yeah, with the emphasis on us it will affect us so what are we doing and why are we allowing things to be the way they are what do we need to do and how do we need to come off this how do we need to come off this now the truth is we need to begin to align okay on the position of truth and make relevant necessary changes to bring us all out of the present predicament don't forget that every one of us must truly, you know, be open to change. It has been like this before. But do we want change? Yes. So where do we go? How do we go? 
how do we implement this change? By the time we've make up, made up our mind on those houses, then we can begin to effect the change we all so dearly desire. Other than that, things may not be as we once dearly looked upon it. Uh, hey, my people, remember that every one of us are in this together. Yes, you and I, we are in this together. We are in this together. As, as elections are drawing close, these persons may want to play on your emotions, tell you what they did and what they did not do, why you must vote for them, or you are named great or this or that. It is beyond one person trying to impose themselves on another person. It is a true phenomenon, a face that we all truly sincerely must rise up to and begin to understand Yes, we must begin to understand that change is what we need and we must begin to work on those changes honestly, sincerely, and truly. Yours truly, I must tell you, if we, don't, if we do nothing, we'll be surprised and shocked at the way things could possibly turn out. So, what are we doing? What are we truly, sincerely doing? And why are we silent? Why are we allowing the same people over and over again to detect to us what is going on? I mean, our brother is revealing to us already, you know, very important points that we need to pay attention to. Atiku Tinubu, do they really, are they really for us? Pointers. Are you sure? Okay, if you're sure, what's your verdict? Because when a child is often rebuked, and is not paying attention. It shows you that that child does not have a very good listening skill and understanding of what of the danger that he or she could be exposed to. You are being warned and told that the thing where you are about to place your hand could possibly bring about some level of pain. It will inflict pain on you. But guess what? You have damned the consequences and you've gone ahead and you have placed your hands. By the time the pain will come, you will be the one to live with the consequences of the decisions you are making. So what will it be? Please take a cue. Ensure that you do what we call a personal research on each of the presidential candidates so you will not be influenced from outside influences. You'll be ready to make the right decision that you possibly think could transform the nation an informed decision that you know will help us and advance the course of the nation if we don't do that we will suffer together with the decisions every one of us are making or will enjoy together let's not only sit on the other side bye for now